today we are going to discuss about moment redistribution we are discussing about the requirement of moment distribution why we need moment distribution how we can do the moment redistribution today's lesson is a introduction to moment redistribution when you have two columns connected by a beam as you know when the load is applied there will be a bending moment at the support we have a hogging moment and the mid span you have a sagging bending moment Generally, based on the stiffness of the column, the bending moment at the support will be higher. Especially in tall buildings, the column stiffness is comparatively higher than the beam stiffness. And also, as a general norm, when we do in the designs, we use the concept strong column and weak beam concept. Then the hinges will not be formed in the columns because the column is very important structural element in a structure failure of a column could lead to failure of a wall structure not like beam or slab since the beam failure won't lead to collapse of the wall structure therefore we have to concentrate on having strong columns than the strong beams in a structure so when we follow that concept the bending movement and the support will be high as you can show here this is a simple diagram we are going to consider uh, this is this is a column one column and this is the other column here and the bending moment of this beam we have drawn here as a sagging and hugging bending moment this will be sagging bending moment at the support you can see here the hugging bending moment now we are going to discuss the method of doing the redistribution right first we have to know the limits this may depend on your standard but generally we limit the moment distribution up to 30 percent according to bs we go for maximum 30 percent and also when we have a tall buildings we are not going to do such a redistribution generally tall buildings we limit this to 10 percent maximum that's because when you have a tall building there may be moment distributions due to the lateral load, construction issues, construction problems, those kind of due to those kind of issues, we have to limit this redistribution of the moments. And also when the structure lateral loads, when the lateral load on the structure is taken by the frame structure, in such a cases also we have to limit the bending moment distribution because there will be distribution of the bending moments with the better load distribution than we expected so I have drawn the bending moment diagram and I have connected these two bending moments by a straight line so now if you distribute the bending moments say for example we distributed by a certain amount or redistributed by a certain amount then say the bending moment will be reduced to this value. In this support also we will going to distribute it by the same amount. Then say it will become this value. Now we can connect these two lines. Right. So now we want to find the new bending moment diagram of this span. Now, now the support bending moment with the redistribution we can calculate. Then it's become this value. So since we know the distribution value, for example, say m is 500, then if the, our distribution of bending moment from this, we can easily calculate the bending moment that we are going to distribute, that is 100, right? So the, this is the amount that we are going to reduce here, then this will value become 400. So similarly, here also you can calculate the bending moment. Now once you calculate the bending moment, we are going to find the new sagging bending moment. How do we can find it? So since we know the drop at each point, we can find that. Okay. Since we know the drop, we can find this new profile. So each point has to drop by this amount. Right? We, since we know that amount, we also it has to drop by that amount. So with that, we can draw the new bending moment diagram like this we can easily find the bending moment 
no bending moment. If you can find the maximum bending moment also, then the second bending moment will be increasing. Second bending moment will be increasing, but in this span, there won't be any issue providing reinforcement, not like the support. Support, you have a very high reinforcement congestion, as we discussed previously. There are a column reinforcement like this, so it is very difficult to provide the reinforcement here due to the reinforcement congestion. But in the sub in this the span of the B that is not that difficult because there are no any issue or any complex situation like the column support. Here, as we discussed with the column reinforcement, we have an issue. But in the mid span here, we can have the reinforcement as we wish by following the reinforcement detailing rules. We have to follow the reinforcement detailing rule. Other than that, there is no issue or there is no any problem providing the reinforcement there. Now it is clear to you the moment distribution, moment redistribution concept. As a concept, this is a good concept and also there are some limitations in this method therefore we have to follow these limitations and all that when you do the moment distribution but these limitations may depend on your standard so that particular standard you have to follow when you are doing the moment redistribution with that we end today's discussion on moment redistribution let's meet again from video thank you very much